Hello everybody, and welcome to my new let's play of Gabriel Knight, The Beast Within. I'm excited to do this one, I love the Gabriel Knight series, this is the second game in the series, and in my opinion it is a good one. I still think the first one is the absolute best of course, but this one is definitely a great story with a great storyline, it's a great game. Now, before I begin, there is just something I want to say that has absolutely nothing to do with this game, but, uh, it was recently announced that the president of Nintendo, Satoru Iwata, has passed away, and that does make me sad, because he was amazing in, uh, everything he contributed, you know, to uh, Nintendo, to games from all the way back from at least the Super Nintendo era, like, uh, one of the games he worked on, which is a game I did on my channel, was uh, Earthbound, and he was implemental in that. Just uh, he was a great guy. He brought us great memories in Zelda, Mario, all sorts of great things, and he will be missed. But anyway, I just had to bring that up because I felt he needed recognition. Enough of that, because we are now on a Sierra game. We are on a Gabriel Knight game, and let us play the prologue. <laughs> And that was the prologue, and if you didn't notice, there are indeed big differences between this game and the last game. Th first and foremost being that this game is done with live actors. Yeah, so that's that's interesting. Now when I first uh, saw that that was the case, I was inclined to be like, oh, that sucks. And I will be honest, I do wish they had just done it with the original graphics. However, that being said... I can't really knock it because it, they did do a good job, and there are other games that do it, like uh, Mist and uh, Lost in Time. I've been meaning to do those games on this channel, but uh, yeah, just keep uh, you know keep your mind open for the remainder of this game. As you can hear, the music is still amazing. It sounds like the same composer. So uh, last we left uh, Gabriel Knight, he had disbanded and destroyed the voodoo cult in New Orleans, and he has inherited Schloss Ritter. Remember, his uncle uh, left it to him. So let's see what's going on with that. Oh, and by the way, yeah, that beginning scene, just like in the first game, will make absolutely no sense for quite some time. 
Chapter 1. Come in. Can I? There are some people here to see you. Me? Yeah, if you please come. What's going on? You've been acting strange all day. Please, just come. And don't forget your talisman. You must wear it always. Damn thing's heavy. Well, hello there. Shouldn't those be torches? Norton, Herr Knight. I am Werner Huber. Forgive our coming here so late, but we must speak with you. What can I do for you? Oh, this is my cousin, Sir Huber Sepp. He has a farm just outside of Munich. I will tell you the truth, Herr Knight. We have come for the Schattenjäger. I see. What makes you think you need a Schattenjäger? It is because of Sepp here. Two nights ago, his wife goes to the window of the house to call in their daughter, Tony. It is getting dark. The light outside is not so good, yeah? She sees Tony some meters away, playing in the grass. And she sees a wolf. It is huge. And it is moving. Towards the child. Mutter screams to the child a warning. Five! And that is when the beast strikes. Sonny! Oh, no, lonesome, lonesome. They say she died quickly. Sepp here hears his wife screaming, comes running from the barn. He sees the wolf, goes inside the house to get a gun. But when he comes out, no wolf. And it has taken part of the child with it. That's horrible. Yeah, yeah, it is very bad, Herr Knight. That is why we come to you. Haven't the police been notified? Well, yeah, naturally. The police, they think it is wolves escaped from a zoo. They search and search, but they find nothing. This is not the first such killing. But if it is not stopped, it will not be the last. I'm not really sure what you want me to do. 
the killer is not Wolf. It is Fair Wolf. You must hunt it down and kill it. Werewolf? What makes you think it's a werewolf? The wolf looked at me. Its eyes were human. It knew what it was doing. It knew. I'm really very sorry about your daughter, Herr Huber. I have told them that you are the new Schattenjäger. You were the talisman. Are you the Schattenjäger now? Or are you not? I am. We do not know you, Herr Knight. But we have known the Schattenjägers for many centuries. It is to them we turn in trouble like this. Except here is family. Will you come? Just look around, see what you can see. Huh? Sepp and his wife go north to be with her mother. You can stay on his farm. All right. I'll look into it for you. See what I can see. I'll pack your things. Great. Thanks. I'll meet you in the village in an hour. Oh, thank you, Herr Knight. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And we begin with Gabriel Knight who has slept in his clothes. Okay, that does not seem comfortable. But another thing you might notice, Tim or uh, Gabriel Knight is not played by Tim Curry. Of course, that wouldn't have been possible with uh, live actors unless they did a lot of makeup on uh, Mr. Curry. But uh, we have a new actor, and uh, I don't know his name. I don't know the name of any of these actors. I probably should look that up. Because I think they uh, go on to do other stuff as well, mostly voice acting. Anyway, uh, so it is like your basic point-and-click adventure game. This one is uh, different from the first game in that it mostly has a uh, context-sensitive cursor, meaning that you uh, just click on something and it'll look at it first and then. You just kind of... I take it the Hube is a Catholic. Do that like if a sword appears that's just you know your basic click look examine whatever so yeah not much so there's the uh, cause they're Christian okay as a Christian myself I never understand the whole displaying crosses and dead Christ thing it just anyway <laughs> enough about that uh, so we have our we are on the the uh, farm we have a bag here let's see what we brought All right, we have a dagger. It seems like a postcard, a wallet, more jeans. All right, we'll take our stuff and what else is there? China, our homie. See, so yeah, he makes uh, observations. He, d besides the accent, he doesn't really sound like uh, the Tim Curry Gabriel Knight. But oh well, we'll accept it. Let's see, what else do I want to do? Um. Oh yeah, there we go. I don't have anything to write about at the moment. Oh yeah, we saw him uh, writing a new novel. Remember, he was a novelist. His first book flopped, but he seems to have written a book about the voodoo murders, which was his goal the whole time. But now that he's living in Schlosswitte, remember that he is now a Schottenjäger, not only by family name, but he went through the whole ritual. So, uh, like it or not, even though he was just kind of living there because he inherited it, he's now inherited also this responsibility. 
a look at the papers going on here. And yes, there is a lot of German. Reichstadt Waren Betung. Oh, we're going to see this guy, the Kümmel Kommissar Lieber. The wolf as dem zu immer noch auf Boob. If someone could translate this, I I can barely understand. The werewolf is a uh, that was in the zoo. Right button and uh. I can't read much of it, but they give the name of the zoo. It's in Thalkirken. The name of the detective on the case is Lieba, from the police station near Prinzer Gentenplatz. All right, so it's good to make note of these things. Remember that the guy said that the police think that it's just wolves that escaped from the zoo, so we'll have to check that out. I'm, I'm trying so hard to understand this. Yeah, I can only understand like one word in ten, maybe. <laughs> Should brush up on my German. Oh well, we we know that uh, we should talk to that police officer and also maybe look at the zoo. All right, so let's see. Oh, it looks like a key. Okay, what's this? And night, the keys for the car are by the door. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's better not to drive inside Munich. Drive. Road day to locum. I don't know. No, 96. That's a number. Park the car and take the U-Bahn from there. Thank you for helping us. Frau Huber, who's the mayor. Air night. The keys to the car are by the door. It is better not to drive inside Munich. Drive road 96 to locum. Park the car and take the U-Bahn from there. Thank you for helping us. Frau Huber. Alright, so. We have a car now. We can get around. I kind of wondered, like, because, like, you know, filming for a video game is a lot different than filming for, like, a movie or a show. So I wonder how they do it. Like, not sure. All right, so. We also want to take a look around the property because this is around where the attack happened. Um, this way. It's a water trough. Ground's a bit muddy over here. Hmm. This is for animals. Very natural. It looks like a log that they just cut a chunk out of. They're like, ah, this log's here anyway. Let's just make use of it. All right. If you look here, it's kind of hard to spot. But if you look here, Jesus, it's as big as my hand. That is one big wolf. All right. further in. These woods go back a ways. Plenty of space to hide. There's something right here. Yeah, kind of wave your cursor around and look for places that it sort of uh, lights up on the sword. Because you can find thing useful things like this. So, uh, actually, let me go to my inventory. There's a couple of things I need to look at. So, I believe you can replay cutscenes here. Yeah. And uh, just like in the last game, you have a cassette recorder where you can uh, replay conversations if you uh, need to remember something. And we have our inventory here. So, that's uh, the hair we picked up. 
Oh, I don't want to use that. Let's go back. So that's our medallion. Um, how do we look at stuff? Um, oh, with the magnifying glass, of course. The family talisman. Wolfgang gave up his life to get this back. Get a nice look at that. It's not. Ah, keep clicking on the wrong thing. Okay. Ah, the old place, St. George's Rare Books. I wonder if we have someone else running the place. Or, I don't know. Hmm. And we have our tape recorder here. We have a notepad. My notebook. Okay. My notebook. It's the Untitled Blake Backlash Manuscript by Gabriel Knight. Chapter 1, page 1. Brilliant prose, if I do say so myself. Unfortunately, I'm just pissing the wind until I can think of a plot line. Maybe this case will inspire me. See, it says, nearly a year after his big last case, Blake Backlash finds himself stuck in a dilapidated castle. He's supposed to be some kind of hero, having inherited late Uncle Damon's role of guardian of truth and light, along with a wreck of a fortress. What Uncle Damon didn't explain was that he was supposed to was was what he was supposed to do next. Saw post. He spelled that wrong. So far, the most exciting outcome of his new title has involved building plaster and a lot of hammering. It's enough to drive a scion to seek out the highest ramparts and throw himself over. Still, he reasoned, things could be worse. If it weren't for the large amounts of cash he'd smuggled out of the voodoo hound for before it went up into flames, there'd be no renovations and he'd still be freezing his balls off in the, this Bavarian refrigerator. Unfortunately, Blake has spared the ordeal of further self-reflection when a mysterious package arrives in the mail. Postmark India. Curious, he rips open the thick yellow twine, finding an out falls. And that's where we left him in that cutscene. So yeah, this does kind of give uh, sort of a synopsis of what's going on with the, with Gabriel Knight. Remember that money that we picked up in the Hound for? Yeah, we used that to uh, fix the castle up. Let's see what's this? My wallet. My wallet. It actually has money in it these days. <laughs> so got it. Our dagger. A shot in Jaeger knife. Gabriel Knight. Gabriel, I've just notified the Catholic Church about a miracle. Things have actually been picking up around the shop. We've been going through stock like, well, like a real store. I keep expecting the candid camera guys to pop out at any moment and say, just kidding. In other acts of universal randomness, The Voodoo Murders is up to number 20 on the New York Times bestseller list. Yes, the taste of the American public can be a terrifying thing. In any case, your U.S. bank account is blossoming, not unlike the desert after a fluke storm. If you don't mind, I'd like to use a little of the money to fix up the shop. Your gran is fine, but misses you. Mosley has been hanging around, making himself a real pain in the butt. Fortunately, I need only bring up the bald detective Mostly in your book, all 240 pounds of him, and your pal turns red and is out the door in about five seconds. Things are organized here, just waiting for your decision. I think you can find a buyer if you want to go that route. I know you hate to write, but I need to get a feeling for what your plans are so I can make some of my own. I haven't seen or heard of anything here that seems relevant to this Schottenjäger business. Take care. Grace. Ah, oh, Grace. I miss her. I hope she pops up in this game. Yeah, it seems like the script she read and uh, this letter kind of have different wording because, uh, at this, instead of she's saying Mosley has been hanging around, she says he has been hanging around, so it looks like something, uh, got cut. <laughs> Whatever. 
It's fine. Yeah, but this? It's from the Ritter family lawyers. Wingedan, Hoffen, and Schnell. Wechtelsverwaltschaft. Wechtelsverwaltschaft. That's February 1995. Dear Mr. Knight, the title of Bush, Schloss, Ritter, and Lands have been has been officially registered with the German Landstratmamt. Landstratmamt. I have no idea. Under your name. Thanks to the funds you provide, the estate is now current. The inheritance tax, bad property taxes, and transfer fees have been paid. Thank you for the additional retainer you sent us for your confidence in keeping Ubergrau, Hoffen, and Schnell in your family firm. Please feel free to contact me with any problem or problems or questions you might have. If you visit Munich, please come by and introduce yourself. Alright, we'll keep that in mind. Then we have the keys. Nice of the Ubers to loan me their car. The lucky rabbit's foot there. And we have this hair here. Just looks like reddish hair to me. Hmm. I'm gonna need help analyzing it. True that. So we found a bit of evidence concerning uh, the werewolf attack. And we've got a little bit of uh, Gabriel Knight's story all caught up. So, what will we find as we investigate further? Well, you're just going to have to find out next time, and let's play Gabriel Knight, the Beast Within. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.